The natural world is filled with complex beauty. And since the beginning of human thought, we've worked hard to pull back the veil and reveal its secrets. Early scientists like Galileo, Copernicus, Kepler, Newton, and others gave us important answers to questions like, why does an apple fall to the ground instead of going in some other direction? And science became not only a way to understand nature, but also a practical method of developing useful tools. But as our mastery of the universe has progressed, we've discovered that some simple things we thought we understood are in fact much more complicated. Einstein showed that gravity, for example, is not the simple force Newton imagined, but actually a curvature in the fabric of space-time. Discoveries like that have led to ever more sophisticated new technologies for examining our world. The CERN Super Collider, for example, is tackling the most fundamental questions about the nature of matter and the origins of the universe with technology so vast that it's managed by an international team of scientists. The questions that we're asking today are much more complex and they require more complex techniques and answers. You can't any longer address one question using one approach. And spectacular achievements like building the International Space Station were made possible by teams of scientists collaborating across disciplines. Sequencing the human genome, for example, required scientists from disciplines including biology, physics, mathematics, and computer science to work together to create an historic scientific breakthrough, which has increased our understanding of genetic diseases and even improved our ability to use DNA evidence to catch criminals. Multidisciplinary research is the cutting edge of science today, and that's the mission of CUNY's new Advanced Science Research Center. In this state-of-the-art nanotechnology lab, biologists and engineers will work together to fabricate molecular-scale devices that could intelligently target treatments for cancer and other diseases. Other researchers are developing the next generation of sensors that will monitor air, water, and ground conditions. They are also developing ways to intelligently remove pollution using nanotechnology. When they have their aha moment, there's somebody else in another area that they can talk to about it to collaborate on the answers. That's the way of the future. An approach that embraces the complexity of nature and uses it to solve tomorrow's problems.